What's up guys, thank you for watching another video today. Um, I have a lot of homies coming over today, so I did want to make a quick progress video uh, out for you guys, even if it's super short. I just really want to show every single little thing we do on it, uh, just to keep the build completely documented on YouTube. Um, actually on the last video, um, as soon as I finished it off, I actually noticed, um, if you recall, we did put the 3G shifter linkage and um, assembly on here, and I noticed that Look at this. The shifter on the left side completely ripped. I'm assuming when I was at the junkyard from pulling it so hard out of the firewall, it actually ripped. So luckily I had one of my good friends, Jesse, parting out his 3G Eclipse. And I went out there and I got these out, out of his car. Again, I'm not 100% sure if these are the exact same as the GS version, the four cylinder ones, but I will take the ones out of this car right now and make sure they're the same as these. If we are, we're pretty much set because these are, are in good condition. I also had a lot of you guys actually hit me up in regards to like Evo axles and like helping me figure out like all the like this whole build situation. And this guy called the Rally Red Evo on uh, on Instagram. I'll put his Instagram right here. Um, actually, um, went on like a bunch of Facebook groups of like international Evos um, and found this guy that was actually selling a set of Evo six axles and he gave me all his information. I hit him up and we set up a deal. So basically, I already paid for these Evo six axles. I'm just waiting for shipment on them and um, hopefully they fit once they come in. Those are really hard to find because obviously we do not have any Evo 4, 5 or 6 Evo or any Evo before the, uh, the 8 for that matter in the States. So it's really hard to find parts for these, uh, for these cars. As far as today, um, we're supposed to finish putting the transfer case tail on it, uh, attaching the remoter mount. Uh, finishing up this rack and pinion because it's not fully connected. Shift, uh, switching up the shifter cables, putting oil in the transmission, putting oil on the transfer case, anticipating both the DSM and Evo 8 drive shaft. And to my surprise, there was actually a really positive reaction as far as making a second channel for all my Spanish speaking people. Uh, I did put the link in the description. It, the channel is called Miguel DSM 2.0. It will be my backup channel from now on. Um, and I will post videos in Spanish. Así que para toda mi gente que habla español y quiso que hiciera otro canal para ustedes, uh, le, les hice caso, uh, se llama Miguel DSM 2.0. Uh, puse el canal en la descripción del canal. Implementaré más videos en español de vez en cuando, no tanto como este. Pero espero un video muy pronto ya que lo haré en estos días y lo subiré en una o dos semanas para ustedes. Uh, más como una introducción. Uh, y a ver qué pasa de ahí. Carlos here and Josh he's the one with the Eagle Talon all right so I went ahead and quickly removed uh, the shifter linkage out of the 2G um, it looks like we're in luck they look exactly the same so for anyone that wants to do this um, any 3G whether it's a four cylinder or six cylinder uh, both the shifter linkages and the whole assembly will work yeah. so we're actually gonna grind this piece off so they're like completely split oh shit this just went up my ass <laughs> Perfect. All right, now that we got this all split up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and quickly attach them just to make sure that everything's good and we'll continue on to the next process. You got it? All right. All right, so now that we got the shift linkages on, uh, we're looking at how to attach the rear water mount. Um, as you can see, we actually have around like an inch or two um, where the motor mount doesn't actually reach the motor mount. I still think it would be more beneficial if we ran um, some type of like high grade uh, uh, washers around the mount here to push it more this way and also run longer bolts. Um, that way um, we don't have to like retap the motor mount in the rear and just make it all flow better. Um, We'll take care of that later. So now we're actually going to go ahead and actually jack up the car um, and start filling the transmission. You what? It's already jacked up. It's not. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, you got the car back up on jack. Oh, hey, yeah. Hi. You. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> the car's up in jack stands. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and install the rear end piece of the transfer case. Uh, luckily, when I got this, we did get this piece, which is basically what connects to this right here. Uh, we're gonna compare this to the Evo NGSX one. Yeah. 
Just shoot. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> 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 it's left. Alright, go ahead and put it in. No homo. The transfer case talent does not go in because the power steering rack is in the way. So we're actually going to go ahead and try to remove these bolts right here. See if we're actually able to move it. Um, uh, so we're basically able to have access to this. Uh, the transfer case does fit. It's just the fact uh, that it's difficult to put it on because this is in the way right now. Uh, so once it's on, we should be able to attach this back on. Basically, you have to remove all the bolts that hold the rack and pin it together. You have to push it up. Uh, towards the chassis as much as you can and then you have to bend this line uh, off the rack and paint up that way And that should give you basically enough space uh, To clear obviously we still have to put the bolts in the gasket, but uh, We do have access to putting this thing on completely now All right, so we got everything tied up down here as you can see the transfer case and right there is on completely um, We weren't able to tighten all six bolts when we got the four bottom ones. Uh, we still need to tighten the top two uh, but we do need a special type of wrench to be able to access them. So because of that, we actually um, won't put the fluid in the transfer case just yet. Um, we're going to make sure that everything's good in time before we do that. But we are going to go ahead and move on to installing or putting the transmission fluid, uh, which is right here. So this is the transfer case fluid that we're going to be using. It's Anzo Silver Gear, 100% uh, synthetic. Uh, and it's 75.90. Um, and for the transmission, I just use the OEM. Um, ATF SP3 um, you need three quarts total all right so in order to do the transmission flush and uh, basically fluid change you will need one of these uh, you get this at your local AutoZone or Harbor Freight um, it's basically just a pump um, once you have that uh, the drain plug and all Evo 4 to Evo 9 uh, transmission since they are all the same um, you just basically uh, you got to drain it first obviously there's something in there the drain plug for this is right here um, and then once uh, you have everything out, you can go ahead and uh, pump in the new fluid, which we will right now. Hello, people! I am back. I haven't been in here for a while, but for like months. You decided to visit me because he thinks he's too cool now. So we were left off, but we're uh, taking off the drain plug for the transmission to check if there's oil. Oh! 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 Almost hit the car. <laughs> and we're gonna. Yeah, he's it. nervous. He's nervous that I'm here. <laughs> you lose the ratchet way. The ratchet way. Yeah, for some reason the 24 is not fitting, but we don't have a 23, so. This has got a, got a man blend. <laughs> Bro, oh my god. <laughs> Bro, this, I was not expecting that, bro. I apologize for that, you guys. But, anyways, the drain plug is out. We're gonna see if the transmission has any. Ooh, it looks like a little bit of metal shavings on there, but not too much. Is there metal shavings? Yeah, all that metal shavings. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna it up real quick. I, I do have a new o ring for it somewhere in here. I think it's right here. Yeah. Boom. Sick. Crappy ass thing. Alright, let's put it back on there and pump some of this ATF real quick. Oh, you're not gonna go. A little Mighty Max out here. Flew it in there as you can see. That is so fancy. What do you mean so fancy? I don't have this luxury. <laughs> what do you mean this is like Harbor Freight? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, so. While he pumps his lotion over there, I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> okay, so when I got the Evo 4 transmission, they actually sent me um, the transfer case. Uh, I guess this is like some type of input shaft. They cut it right here, and um, as you can see, it's really, really small. I'm actually gonna compare this to the GSX drive shaft one. Yeah, so they both look like they are the same length. Um, the only difference is obviously the mounting point, so we would have to modify the chassis a little bit, but. The GSX one looks like it's kind of more similar to this one. Uh, I don't know what the, sl the spline count is, but if you look, like it's this one smaller. The Evo one is definitely too big. I know the rear will bolt up because we have the GSX for differential. So I know this will work. So that fits? The, the rear will fit, so we could probably bolt it up from the rear and then see if the GSX one fits because it's kind of similar to the Evo one right here. Anything. Dude, do you ever change your shirts? What do you mean, dude? I wash them. You, you have like six inland DSM shirts? Yeah, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, 
I just always wear like black shirts and stuff. I just wear shirts that I, I like. I'm comfortable getting dirty. But if I go out, I go. I look fresh. <laughs> you fit down there? I think so. <laughs> it's kind of it's dark and blurry down here. Talking shit about me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So lazy. Pretty much put it where the GSX would bolt up right there. And I could already tell that this thing's gonna be too long, huh? Because the transfer case is right here. You're losing everything. Yeah, and it's oh, dude. <laughs> You're losing parts. Where does it touch? Okay, so it's obviously too long. We went ahead and marked it with a marker. Now we're actually gonna test fit and see if the you GS6. Sure it? Yeah, I marked it. <laughs> It's on there with Sharpie. We're gonna test fit it and make sure that the see if the GSX one actually goes into the transfer case. If it's like the same spline count basically. No, uh actually maybe. Hey. Hold up. No. No, huh? No. Okay, yeah. So good thing we have the evil one. Let me try again. Alright. Maybe because it's dry, you gotta spit on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get back out. <laughs> Good luck getting out. Damn, Damn bro. This man titties have grown. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Who wants ice cream? So he's trying to get out quick. <laughs> I'm choco taco. What'd you get? I'm one satisfied choco taco. Right now. Hella beaner. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the jar shaft's out. I marked it right here somewhere. Look, right here. So it's exactly where the welds are. So basically, I think my plan is basically to. Right here, dude. Look. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, you see? I told you. That's basically where I hit the transfer case. So my plan is to basically have everything on the car pretty much done and finished and leave the drag shaft for the last part. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for them to leave All real right. quick. So basically what we're gonna plan out is have everything pretty much done on the car and leave the drag shaft towards the end. Obviously we just test fit it and we know the rear portion will fit because it's for a GSX. Um, obviously we thought the length is a little too much because it is too long. So I'm thinking my plan is once the car is done, we're pretty much gonna have it towed to some type of dry shaft shop where they could put it on a lift and they could precisely basically measure um, the dry shafts, cut it exactly where it needs to be cut, which is gonna be around here where we marked it and basically have this piece, which does fit my transfer case welded on there. Yeah, so it should be around this long instead. And then once we have that, it'll be precisely cut, welded, um, and then hopefully it's not too expensive because I have all the parts. Um, and then just have it put on the car and from there the car should be able to run um, I'm basically waiting for the wiring harness which should come in. I also ordered the axles of course, so that should be coming in I mean, there's really not much left. It's literally all pretty much done. It's just little like tedious Miscellaneous custom stuff that needs to be done um, Obviously break in the clutch and make sure everything's good before it gets tuned and then hopefully you run speed density later and all this other stuff. So. All right, guys, that's it. For oh my gosh, dude, what's what? the hell? Freaking <laughs> little eyes, Yay. little hairs coming out. <laughs> let's, let's do a little, little cutback. <laughs> <little cut back. laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.